Welcome to Math Understood, and today we're going to learn how to calculate the area of a triangle. There are three types of triangles that we can use when calculating the area of a triangle. They are right triangles, acute triangles, and obtuse triangles. The following is an example for calculating the area of a right angled triangle. The triangle we're using has a height of 6 centimeters and a base of 10 centimeters. Because this triangle has a right angle, we can make a rectangle that also includes it, as indicated here. This triangle is half of the rectangle, and the rectangle has the same base and height that the triangle has. So what we can do is calculate the area of a rectangle and then divide it by 2 to get this half of our triangle. To do this, our formula is area is equal to base times our height divided by 2. So area is equal to our base of 10 centimeters times by our height, which is 6 centimeters, and divided by 2. This gives us an area equal to 30 centimeters squared. And for this equation, we didn't include any decimal places because our height and our base do not include decimal places, but we do include centimeters squared. Because this indicates that it is a product of two dimensions, which is the height and the base. The following is an example of how to calculate the area for an acute triangle. So for this triangle, we have a base of 10 centimeters and a height of 6 centimeters. Now we can imagine the triangle as part of the rectangle with the same base and height as the triangle. We can also imagine the rectangle being split into two rectangles along the height of the triangle. And notice that each part of the yellow triangle is half the area of each of the new rectangles. So this means that the area of the triangle must have been half the total area of the rectangle with the same base and same height. Now we are going to solve for the area of this acute triangle. We know that our area is equal to our base times our height divided by 2. So our area is equal to 10 centimeters times by our height, which is 6 centimeters, divided by 2, which gives us an area equal to 30 centimeters squared. Now again, we didn't include any decimal places because our base and our height did not include any, but we still include centimeters squared. Now we are going to look at an example of how to calculate the area of an obtuse triangle. So for this example, we have our base of 10 centimeters, and we extended our base out in order to calculate the height, which is 6 centimeters. It can be hard to imagine this triangle as half of a rectangle, so it can be easier to imagine the same triangle arranged to form a parallelogram, which is seen here. This parallelogram has the same base and same height as a triangle. Now we could rearrange this parallelogram into a rectangle, but we already know that the area of a parallelogram is equal to base times height. Now that we know that an obtuse triangle can be arranged into a rectangle, we can use the same formula that we've been using for the past two examples. So area is equal to base times height divided by 2. Or area is equal to 10 centimeters times by the height, which is 6 centimeters, divided by 2, which gives us an area equal to 30 centimeters squared. Again, we didn't include any decimal places because the base and the height did not, but we still do include centimeters squared. From the past examples, you may have realized that this is the formula for the area of any triangle. So area is equal to base times height divided by 2. The following image is a summary of what we've just learned. We now know that a parallelogram, or a rectangle, has an area equal to base times height, and that two triangles make up a parallelogram or a rectangle. So when we are calculating the area of one triangle, we times base by height and divide by 2. 
The following is an example that I would like you to try on your own when base is 4 centimeters and the height is 6 centimeters. I would like you to pause the screen and work through this example. Now that you've had some time to work through this example, we're going to solve it together. So area is equal to base, or 4 centimeters, times by our height, which is 6 centimeters, divided by 2. So our area is equal to 12 centimeters squared. Now again, we have not included decimal places because our base and our height do not have decimal places, but we do include centimeters squared. This is the last example that I would like you to work on, and I would like you to do it on your own when we have a base of 8 centimeters and a height of 2 centimeters. Now that you've had some time to work on this equation, we're going to go through it together. So area is equal to our base, which is 8 centimeters, times by our height, which is 2 centimeters, divided by 2. So this gives us an area of 8 centimeters squared. Now again, we have not included any decimal places because our base and our height do not have any, but we have included centimeters squared. 